If you've seen our videos before, you know we love hidden things. We're not sure how many people will watch this video until the very end, so we'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to join our community. We make regular updates there that you might find interesting, including sneak peeks of upcoming videos and even some pics from our travels. So if you like hidden things, head on over and join our community. Now let's get to the video. Did you know that in addition to its world-famous stone structures, Machu Picchu also has sophisticated water systems hidden within its ancient walls? These hidden water systems played a crucial role in the daily lives of the Inca people who inhabited the citadel, and yet they remain shrouded in mystery. Join us as we embark on a journey through time to explore these hidden water systems and uncover their secrets. What mysteries will we find? Let's find out. The Discovery of the Aqueducts During the 1911 excavation at Machu Picchu, the team discovered a network of aqueducts. These aqueducts were built with remarkable engineering precision and indicate that the Incas had advanced knowledge of hydraulics. However, it was only in 1970 when the Peruvian government conducted new excavations and archaeological studies that more details about these aqueducts came to light. It is now believed that there are around 600 meters or 2,000 feet of aqueducts located both above and below ground in the sacred complex. The aqueducts were initially built with the help of canals, which directed water from the nearby rivers into the citadel. Later, underground tunnels were constructed to supply the entire city, similar to modern sewer systems. This underground network still exists today. The purpose of the water system. The water system at Machu Picchu was incredibly advanced for its time and had several purposes. First and foremost, it supplied drinking water to the royal estate where the elite members of society lived. It also provided water for agricultural terraces on the mountain's lower slopes, ensuring that crops could be grown in the shadow of the citadel. The irrigation system used in the agriculture fields was extremely efficient. It channeled water from the river S Edge onto the terraces through a series of canals and stone channels allowing the Incas to farm on the steep slopes of the mountain. Any excess water was then directed to fountains throughout the city, providing a constant supply of fresh water for the Incas' rituals and ceremonies. The fountains also served as a source of power, symbolizing the Incas' ability to control the forces of nature. The water system also played an important role in waste disposal. The Incas constructed drains and sewers to carry away wastewater, solid waste and rainwater, keeping the city clean and preventing the spread of disease. This was especially important given the high population density of the citadel. The construction techniques. The Inca's construction techniques for the water system were nothing short of brilliant. They used gravity to move water through the system, ensuring that it flowed from one point to another without the need for pumps or other mechanical devices. They also used a variety of materials, including stone, mud mortar, and ceramic pipes. The Incas were skilled masons, and they used their expertise to create intricate channels and basins that are still standing today. They paid attention to even the smallest details, such as the angle of the stones, to ensure that the water flowed smoothly through the system. Hidden springs and baths. One of the most fascinating aspects of Machu Picchu S water system is the hidden springs and baths scattered throughout the citadel. These springs and baths were not just functional, but also served as a reminder of the Incas' deep connection to nature. The Incas believed that water had healing properties, and they used the springs and baths for medicinal purposes. Some of the baths were even built into the sides of mountains, creating a natural hot tub-like experience. These springs and baths were also used for ritual purposes. The Incas would offer prayers and sacrifices to the water deities before bathing in the sacred waters. These rituals were a way to ensure that the water continued to flow and provide the city with the resources it needed, terraces and fountains. The Incas' water system also supported the construction of elaborate terraces and fountains throughout the city. The terraces were not just for farming, 
but also for ceremonial purposes. They would host important festivals and gatherings, where the Inca nobility would display their wealth and power. The fountains were a symbol of the Inca's ability to control and manipulate water, and they were often built in public areas where everyone could enjoy them. The Inca's knowledge of hydraulics was truly impressive. They understood the principles of water pressure and flow, and they used this knowledge to create a system that could deliver water to every part of the city. Their aqueducts were incredibly precise, and they were able to channel water through narrow pipes without it overflowing. This was a remarkable feat of engineering, and it's a testament to the Inca's intelligence and ingenuity. However, the Inca's knowledge of hydraulics didn't stop there. They also understood the importance of water conservation. They knew that water was a precious resource, and they took steps to prevent waste. They used a system of canals and reservoirs to collect and store water during the rainy season, which allowed them to have a steady supply of water throughout the year. They also built drainage systems to remove excess water, which prevented flooding and erosion. Overall, the Inca's approach to water management was incredibly sustainable, and it's a model that we can still learn from today. Today, much of the water system remains hidden beneath the surface. Only a few remnants of the aqueducts and fountains can be seen above ground. However, archaeologists continue to make new discoveries about the system and its purpose. As they learn more about the water system, they are uncovering new insights into the lives of the Inca people who lived in Machu Picchu. The system is a reminder of the sophistication and complexity of the Inca civilization, and it's a testament to their ability to adapt to the challenges of their environment. The Inca's relationship with water was deeply spiritual, and they saw water as a source of life and a way to connect with the divine. Their water system was not just a feat of engineering, but a reflection of their beliefs and values. By understanding the Inca's water system, we can gain a deeper appreciation for their culture and legacy. The future of the water system. As we look to the future, it's clear that the water system at Machu Picchu has a lot to teach us. The Inca's approach to water management was incredibly forward-thinking, and it's something that we should strive to emulate today. We can learn from their sustainable practices and their ability to adapt to changing conditions. The Inca's water system is a hidden gem in the history of Machu Picchu. While it may not be as well known as the Citadel's iconic stone structures, it's just as important in understanding the Inca civilization. As we continue to explore and uncover the secrets of this hidden system, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the ingenuity and innovation of the Inca people. Their water system is a reminder of the incredible things that humans can accomplish when we work together and harness the power of nature. And that's all for this episode. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. You can also check out our other videos and join the conversation by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and consider sharing it. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on any of our future uploads. See you in the next video.